righty. So here we are again, PCA Sim Racing Season 5, Race 2 at Mosport. So pretty exciting stuff. Uh, this track is really, really tricky, and uh, this is early morning time in the sim. So it's a little cold, so warming your tires is kind of important. It's a little squirmy on the first lap. In fact, I uh, uh, felt pretty good last night, but then this morning, or not this morning, this afternoon, when we were prepping for the race, doing practice, um, had horrible practice, had a horrible time keeping it on the track, especially first couple of laps. So this should be interesting. See how I qualify and uh, move through the race. So uh, wish me luck. I'm going to transition now. So here we go. Mo Sport. I'm going to do my warm up lap, leaving the pits, and uh, then we'll see if we can't lay down a good banker's lap. Pit lane speed limit is 35 no. miles per hour. Pit exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. Okay, Chip, we've got three laps to get the job done. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 70 Fahrenheit. Great. The temperature's decreasing means it's going to be slick as a button, especially this first lap. So we'll just ginger around a little bit, take it nice and easy, get a little heat in the tires, heat in the brakes, and see how we do. Ginger here, this is where it likes to lose on the hot and cold tires. Ginger, ginger, ginger. You can hear those tires making noise. I really come to like this track. When you get it right, it feels really, really good. So let's hope for me getting it right at least once in these three laps. And here we go, first lap. That's not what we're looking for. That's an off track. So this lap won't count. Same thing I did last week, if you remember, at uh, Laguna Seca. My first lap was garbage with an off track just like that. Or like that. Let's try this again. I'm gonna be quiet on this lap. Focus. The leader's just done it, 124.39.
Okay, we've got a lap in. Let's see if we can lay the hammer down. B24. Damn it. That's not good. Track limits, keep it within the lines. The leader's just done it, 124.28. So that would be my qualifying. That's just sad. Watch your speed. Yeah. I could have done better. In practice, I was, uh, I think I finished 18th. Um, and it looks like we have 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 cars this week. So one more than last week. Six. Yeah, 44. <sighs> so now I'm 27th. The leader has just done a 124.23. That's really disappointing. Well, we'll make it up in the race, right? That's how we're going to do this. We're going to win. No, we're not going to win. That's 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 ego talking, and that's just not going to work. Realistically, I I think that I should be able to finish in the top 20. That's the, that's the goal. Given I finished uh, 25th last race. So if I finish in the top 20, I will have at least accomplished a gain. Well, I will have accomplished a gain if I finish 24th. But uh, hoping to finish in the top 20, um, if things fall my way and I keep my cool and can keep it on the darn track, um, I could maybe get lucky and get into the top 15, but I, I doubt it. Um, one of the things that's been universally true um, running with these guys in the PCA is that they are all fast really fast. Um, compared to other iRacers in general, um, this is a really fast league, which is impressive. I mean, it makes sense. A uh, uh, car mark like Porsche would have drivers, I mean, real drivers. Um, and uh, so it's kind of nice. It's it's humbling um, most of the time, but it's, it's definitely a, a good experience to be racing with quality folks that are actually driving the cars like they're real cars, because that means that you're improving your race craft that a lot of the same things are going to translate into the real world as well. So if you're doing autocross or you're doing DEs or you're even, you know, elevating to club racing, it can actually become really beneficial and, and useful to learn the tracks, learn car control, car dynamics, and other sorts of things. So there's a lot of value to participating in a, a sim racing club like this outside of iRacing. iRacing is uh, a mug fest. Um, people are there. Um, some of them are arcade gamer type folks that are just looking to bash and bang their way to victory. Um, and then there are other more serious folks, but usually you have to go with a league um, like the, the PCA Sim Racing or some other league to, to get some benefit out of um, quality racers really doing it for a specific purpose, usually a stated purpose for the league. And if you don't abide by the rules, you get kicked. Um, one of the things that they had problems with uh, in the past is uh, profanity, profanity of any type or um, uh, bashing people, you know, calling them out on the track during a race. Eh, there's no room for that. And uh, you get a nice finger wag if you do it once, and uh, you actually run the risk of being dismissed from the league if you do it a second time. And that's that's good. It keeps the sportsmanship high, and uh, that keeps people engaged in really positive ways. So there's a lot of camaraderie. Um, you even hear that in some of the races where people will give folks attaboys for saves and other sorts of things, as you may have heard in the Laguna Seca race. And I'm sure we'll hear more of that tonight. Doesn't look like anybody's bumped me below 27th yet, and we are nearing the end of qualifying. So this is uh, this is looking like where I'm going to start is 27th out of 44. Looks like three people didn't That's get the time. end of the session. Be 27. Yeah, three people did not get uh, qualifying time. So they're either not in the race. Or, Double check your car setup. Or are uh, didn't get time, so they'll be put in the grid in some other fashion. All right, we could get all you drivers to the grid, please. All drivers to the grid. <coughs> all right. 
right. Looks like John D'Angelo qualified 31st. Car number 221, Theodosis, please check your private messages on iRacing. So I don't know if you noticed in the last race at the top of my screen there, you can see my fuel calculation. So it tells you how much fuel I have in the tank, 10.63 gallons, and how many laps that represents. On the right-hand side, you're going to see... Um, yeah, good luck. Be easy drivers. There are 44 cars here tonight, um, so pit road is going to be shared. Uh, please take it easy on the first lap. So you'll see fuel at end. That's going to be uh, going into the negative fairly quick. There will be a required pit stop during this race. You'll also see my incidents. So incidents in iRacing are kind of fun. Uh, an off track, just a simple off track, is a 1x. If you collide with anything or lose control, it's a 2x. If you hit another car and actually have a collision, it's a 4x. There are other kind of nuanced collisions. Some of those are 2x's, some of those are 0x's, where you know you recognize that you touched the car, but there was no impact, no incident, um, so it doesn't count. Um, so that's what the incident counts are. You're uh, hit 31 and we actually have to start serving penalties. So the idea is to keep that at a minimum. So try to keep it on the track and uh, keep the racing clean to basically finish with as few incident points as possible. Yeah, somebody's got a freaking TV on or some shit like that. They gotta shut it off. My check. B27, the track temp is 70 Fahrenheit. All good, Brandon. Follow car number 3006 in the right column. I hear that same TV on in the background. That's not a TV, that's the announcer announcing for YouTube. I'm an amateur. Yeah, it's new with this build. They've got background traffic uh, at the circuit now. I think it sounds cool. Yeah, this iRacing build added some interesting stuff. Some new cars, some new tracks, and ambient noises in the background. Night flap Thanks, Jensen. But I don't know if I can do that for 40 minutes, man. You seem pretty quick in the prelude. I believe you can. We're chasing you down at Seca, I believe you can. Everybody, let's be careful up here in Moss's Corner. We don't want to run anybody's race before the green flag. Drivers, just again, reminder to be easy on that first lap. Uh, let's get caught up here. The green flag uh, does fly kind of early. And uh, good luck. Thanks, DJ. Okay, Chip, get ready. Go, go, go. Car left. Clear left. <coughs> On your right. Still there. Still there. Still there. Clear right. <coughs> Okay, let's find a good rhythm. Make some places. There's an incident in Clayton Corner. Car right. Yeah. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Beep. 
There's an incident in Moss Corner. It looks like the You're on the right, three wide. Left side. Hold your line. 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 Clear left. So I've lost two places because of trying to be cautious, which is par for the course, really. Did I get a black flag for that, uh, that incident in uh, Moss Corner? This track. This is a tough track. I really like the track. I've gotten used to it, or not used to it, but I've gotten to actually like it. I think it's a pretty fun track to drive, but man, it's unforgiving and requires focus. On your right. Clear right. Car right. Clear right. Just done a 129.47. It's actually really slow. But dealing with traffic is uh, different. I can't just throw the hammer down and uh, pass a bunch of cars. I have to work the traffic. Flag. Watch out, there's an incident in Moss Corner. Looks like it's Palmer. Randy, are you faster than me? I qualified fifth, had a little incident, but. 
Take me low. Right side. Clear okay. right. Right side. Still there. Clear right. Not you, John. B27. Incident in turn one. Sorry, Mo. Sorry about that, Fernando. Very sorry if we have not been fighting the phone. All of you. Incident in Moss Corner. <laughs> On your left. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. Heads up, there's a car rejoining. There's an incident in Clayton Corner, B35. Sorry, Gordon. Driver's just remind me you cannot service your vehicle at any time when you are serving a penalty. So something you may have noticed is that I was hit from the rear um, in Moss Corner because I was slowing up for the traffic in front of me. And that resulted in incident points. And uh, I got four incident points even though I was faultless. In iRacing, that's kind of how the points go, is, uh, regardless, ah, uh, shoot. God damn it. The car ahead's pitting. Watch your speed. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Two. Okay, Jip, we'll fuel you One. to the end of the race. 100 Stop. feet. So as I was saying, uh, the incident points counted against me. And of course you saw I got two more because I, uh, I wrecked my stuff. Uh, talking to you, actually. That's why I don't talk, Nicole, just so you know. Um, she complained that I didn't talk enough in the last video. Um, so I'm doing some optional repairs here just because I want the best car I can have in under me um, and I'll just deal with the ramifications. I'm already a lap down um, because of the incidents that I've had. So uh, it's all good. I'll just uh, get back on track and run my race the best I can and uh, we'll call it good. Another minute and a half, no big deal, it's a lap. So. Uh, I'm not going to finish the way that I had hoped, um, but largely that's to no fault of my own, really. I, except for that last spin, um, there uh, the, being hit from behind was totally uh, not my my deal. So, um, 
you know, what are you going to do, right? Um, can't complain about it. Well, you can, but it doesn't do any good. You just got to live to fight another day and uh, get as many points as we possibly can in this. So um, hopefully not finishing, you know, all the way out. There are three cars, if you look at the board, uh, that are actually out of the race. So uh, they went out really early. Looks like uh, lap three. Uh, must have had crashed and crashed out. So um, right now I'm two laps down. Um, and, and I stand a chance, better than even chance, of uh, catching at least a couple of people that are ahead of me. Fastest lap for Masters, 124.56. So I'm just going to try to get out, back out on track and lay down as many nice laps as I possibly can. I'll probably be a little quieter because I need to I need to focus and make sure I stay on track because, as you saw, um, I'm not quite good enough of a driver to talk to you and engage my audience um, and drive the car at the same time. At least not drive it well. I'll find the wall a lot if that's what you want to see, but I really don't want to do that. Watch your speed. So here we go. There's a car approaching. Don't cross the white line. Watch your mirrors. Blue flag. Blue flag. There's an incident in turn one, B thirty eight. If I'm holding you up. Car right. Clear right. Turn one. Thanks, James. You got it. Thank 
Hey John. You... The gap in front has increased to 6.5. Oh, well. Let those guys fight because they're actually racing. I'm a lap down, so it doesn't make sense for me to be involved in their stuff. Looks like he's having a little bit of a tough time. Sector two is one point six seconds off the pace. In the S's, yellow flag, caution. You've just done a one twenty eight point six two. Incident in White Corner. Hey, Dwayne, you want to just give me that position back? Because otherwise, I'm going to file a protest there. Your lap times are improving. 20 minutes remaining, you've got 20 minutes left. Okay, Chip, you're halfway home, yes, got plenty of fuel. The gap in front is now 10 seconds. There's an incident in Moss Corner. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. Incident in white corner. Yellow flag, watch out. Here, I got you off the... Thanks, man. 
We've got a couple more behind him. Enemy 35. Sector 3 is 1.8. Off the pace. I'll give you the inside up here, David. Thank you, sir. All right, Chip. We've gone out of track limits. Keep between the lines. Getting out. Clear right. Blue flag. On your right. There's an incident in the S's. Clear right. Clear right. I'm coming up on you. Yeah, on your you, right. Jensen. You got to go right. Go right. Go right. I'll breathe. You're right. Thanks, man. Go, go. Thank you. Sorry, man. Sorry, Lana. The guy behind is really new in. The gap's now 5.8. Quicker than you, entering lost corner. B34. I'm gonna pick Chris. On the left, Bob. Thank you. I got hit the last two times. Did they review that? Incident in the S's. Stand by. You kid. I got hit in the rear twice. Just call number 80, I just got creamed in the black side too. Hey Greg, I got you, I'll, I'll stay right. Roger that. Wondering if I have to serve that stop and go. Antonio, behind you. There's an incident in Lost Corner. Race control, did you look at the car 80's last lap just before? Roger, stand by 80, we're on review. Okay, Chip, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. Okay. 34, car 34 is... No problem, Paul. Brian, behind you. Stand by 34. Go left into this. Go inside, boys. A little 34, please serve your penalty. That's an eye racing AI decision on the incident counts there. The rear end contact did not cause an incident, so there's no penalty from us. Your last lap time was at 127.46. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. There's an incident in Moss Corner. Is mine a, uh, a racing penalty as well? 
Yeah, yeah, they really you in. The gap it's is now 4.0 seconds. The the car to pass cleanly. Quicker than us entering Lost Corner. You were yeah. responsible for that incident. Stop and go. Sector 2 is 0 and 2 7 off the pace. Billy, Billy, Billy. That was an adventure. Brandon looked like. Goes off the right. Incident in turn one. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Man, plenty of room. That's where I'm on the left. You can pass me on the left. Got it. Thanks, Joe. Sorry, I couldn't keep. No, you're good. good. Thanks, James. Sorry for you right off there. Organ light behind you. The left. Right. All right, Chip. You've got half Thank your you. fuel left. B34. Behind. Gotcha, go ahead. You're a second off the pace in sector two. You've got ten minutes left, ten minutes to go. It's a car leading the pit lane. The gap behind has now decreased to 0.8. They're faster than us into Moss Corner. My right, my right, my right. Thanks, Bob. Stick to the plan. Don't Can be intimidated here. Can you check the here. penalty for car 34 for speeding in the pit? I stayed in the pits for 40 seconds, but it still shows. Stand by 34. There's an incident in Moss Corner. Mm -hmm. On your left. Hold your line, clear left.
I'm gonna pee now. All right, thanks. Okay, Chip, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. There's an incident in, turn one. B35. Car right. Clear right. My left, right, Paul, my left. Right. Thanks, Paul. I'm not gonna be there. Oh. Thank you. Blue flag. 34 cannot clear that penalty for you. Um, please review at the end of the race the rules and rules of the sky's line so as serving a penalty. Make sure nothing is checked on the car, including tear-offs, when you do serve that penalty. If it's still active for you, please pit again and uh, make sure nothing is checked and try to clear it. If you pit this time and it doesn't clear, I will clear it for you. All left, pass me on the left. Uh, left side, Chris. It's a car rejoining in front. Thank you. B34. Gary, I'm going to be pitting this time, so you don't have to work too hard. For this. Right side. Oh, All right, no, I won't. Play right. Left side, clear left. left. Off, okay, Chip, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. Five minutes to go, five minutes. I'm gonna have to talk to them. Earl, I'll let you buy on the straight. Be aware, I'm right behind you. Got it. Thank you, Dawson. Thanks, Kirk. Yep, good job. Sorry about that, Jason. I almost spun out in Bob. Short, speed up. Sorry. Jason, I'll give you the outside. Okay, Come Jeff, ahead. I'll bring on the car in front. The gap's now 10 seconds. Blue flag. 
Thanks, Chris. No problem. There's an incident in Clayton Corner. Right, go left. Sector 1 is 1.9 seconds off the pace. On your right, clear right. On your right. Clear right. I think P2's been lost corner. Right side. Clear right. There you go, dive bomb. So, come around me. Car right. Clear right. Thank you, Chip. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Hey Arnie, I'll stay right. Thank you. Sector 2 is 0.9 off the pace. Same thing, I'll stay right. Thanks, John. That's what I get for looking in my mirror, Nino. White flag, one more to go. Thanks, Brandon. I'll let you by after this turn. No problem, Ryan. Go left, go left. Incident in Moss Corner. Shit, I'm sorry if I caused that. I'm sorry, Jeff. I lost track of you back there, I'm sorry. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Show is wrong. That's the end of the race. B33, there's the checkered flag. Okay, that was a... Fun race, a little frustrating. So we're going to have to go on this court again. But all things considered, you know, it was Congratulations still fun. on the one, Jensen. Uh, please report to the PCA Sim Racing Discord um, and go into the interview waiting room. Thank you. And I am very sweaty. Not that you really needed to know that. That's probably way too much information. Got me, Greg. Nice racing, Gary.
That was a fun little, like, last lap, uh, frenzy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought I was a goner there. I was trying to give you room to get around me. David, I'm not sure if that was you that I spun earlier, so I am really, really sorry. Congrats on the win, Jensen. Nice job, everybody. Hold on, Jensen. Congrats, Jensen. Watch your speed. Watch your speed. One hundred feet. All right. Well, that's it. That's a wrap. Um, didn't do as well as I'd like, but, uh, 33, I'll take it. It's better than it could have been, because there were 43 cars. I finished, uh, 9 up? 10 up? How's that math work? Anyway, didn't finish last. That's something, I guess. Um, we'll do better next time. Uh, we probably won't. Barber Motorsport is a scary track. I don't know if you've seen that track, but there's a lot of, uh, grass on the edges and not a lot of curbing. So, uh, a lot of peril. Um, with Barber Motorsport, but it should be a fun race, so uh, be sure to come back and check in then. <laughs> so I guess that's not quite a wrap. Tell you a little bit about the race. Uh, I qualified 27th out of 44 drivers with a 126.279. Wound up finishing 33rd. A um, little disappointing given uh, the circumstances, but okay. I will take it. Average lap time of 137.456 with the fastest lap of 126.414. Eight total incident points. Four of those were because I was hit by, from behind, so I'm not going to own those. So we'll say four incident points in reality. Want to make sure we congratulate Jensen Benet for the win. A tremendous win. His brother won uh, the club race, which was pretty exciting as well. Uh, giving his brother a good uh, happy birthday. So uh, happy birthday, Jensen's brother. And uh, congratulations on the win. Next race is going to be at Barber Motorsport Park on September 18th, so be sure to tune in and watch. If you can't watch the broadcast, I will be doing another one of these. <laughs> I can't squeak off without thanking the people that make my sim racing possible. Porsche Club of America, and specifically the PCA Sim Racing Steering Committee, all the organizers and participants, thank you very much. My friends and colleagues at SpyCloud, thank you for being so supportive. Chris of Tam Livery, thanks for the kick-ass livery, man. I really like uh, like what I've got on the car now, and I uh, really appreciate the work that you've done. He's got a Facebook page, so look for Tam Livery if you're in the market for a, uh, a, a new skin for your car. Last, but certainly not least, I want to thank my household. Nicole and Mackenzie have put up with a near-constant talk and Simrig sounds since April. That's how long I've been trying to do this and uh, practicing, and uh, I think it's become an obsession that has uh, really become kind of a source of a lot of fun making behind my back. But I'll excuse that because they love me and uh, they let me do this um, and spend the hours that it takes to do it even uh, at a mediocre level that I, that I wind up performing. So thank them very much and uh, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.